Yo, what's going on, Poke Champs? This is your boy Infamous, and today we're doing another Fakemon region showcase. Now, you guys have been asking about this specific region for a while now. So, first off, I want to give a huge shout out to Hoops and Hip Hop, who is the creator of this region being the Norklo region, which is actually based off in Canada, which is actually really awesome. Now, you guys have been asking me for a while now to showcase this region and show you these awesome designs to maybe ones who haven't seen it. I know he brought in some great talent like Oscar Belmonte and Dark and Wendy to help him out with some of the designs, and many other artists and voice actors that actually jumped into the series that's on his channel. So of course, I have to give a huge shout out to Hoops and Hip Hop and that entire team that worked on this entire region and Pokemon Cardinal, and I want to make sure you guys do check him out and everyone else, so make sure you check out the description down below and I have all the links there for you. That being said, I hope you guys are excited, and if you guys are, I want you guys to leave a like on this video, share the video out, and hit the subscribe button because I actually found out that 90% of you guys who watch this content is not subscribed. You guys love this content. You guys want to see more regions. I'm going to be doing it here on the channel, so go ahead and hit the subscribe button, and if you guys are ready, let's dive into the Norclo region. Alright, let's go ahead and dive in with Shrubberoos here on the screen being the grass type starter of the Norclo region. It is adorable. I like it's it's you just want to hug it. You just want to give it a nice warm hug. It looks sweet and I love the design. It has a little little foliage on the on the back. It looks super cute. Kind of reminds me of a reindeer too, which kind of plays into that, that snow theme of Canada. And then it evolves into Arvaday, which looks really good too. I like like the uh, kind of tribal cheek design that looks super dope. And then like the, again that that uh grass is growing on its body and then it evolves into elder roos Ooh, this thing looks tanky though this thing looks tanky and again i like that little tribal that little tribal design on the back this is kind of fire this is fire this is fire the next up we have mbit this is my go-to this is the one during the series when he was showing off the videos which again i want you guys to check out there's voice acting and everything all right this design is great i like it and it's kind of funny because we have square bunny but this is a really cool design as it evolves into uh Flodiris. hope I said that right and it looks great looks great I like the pointed ears I kind of wish they were separated just to see what that would look like but overall this is this is really dope now next up is the final evolution for that fire type this right here being Rocketeer and yo he is looking amazing I love it I'm pretty sure this one is a fire and steel type fantastic this right here is my starter you're going on the team you're going on the team. It's it's amazing. I love it. It looks fast like Cinderace. Yo, it's amazing. I love it. I can't wait to show off my own personal final form starter. So hopefully you guys can see that real soon. Oh, this is great. Then we have Narwade, which is going to be the water starter for the region. It's a little, it's a, you know, it's little. It's cool. It's cool. I like it a lot. It evolves into Walloon, which isn't that much different uh overall like it looks really really close which is the point which is the point you know of evolution but it looks really really close it's okay it's not my type of pokemon but it's really cool and that's gonna evolve into blimwall Ooh, okay okay it kind of gives you like some Warlord vibes, but um, I'm pretty sure this one is water flying as well. Um, and I'm pretty sure for uh, the, the grass one, it was uh, fire, or sorry, not fire, grass rock or grass ground. I can't remember 100%. Elder Roos looks great. I love all the final evolution. They look really, really interesting, but very different. I think they'll look fantastic. Great work. And let's check out the main Pokédex. All right, so it looks like we're kicking off the regular Pokédex with the regional bug type. This being Bumblo, I love that name. I love that name. That name is so heat. Bumblo, yeah, this, hey, that's fire. That's fire. I love it. This is great. I love this design. It's fantastic. It evolves into a Humblebee, which I think is really cool. I like it, but it's it's more pointing on the feminine side i would say overall it'd be really cool if this was like a split evolution with um you know something else that was like more of a masculine side of it just because it does have like that vespa queen vibe and since we have vespa queen it'd be kind of weird to have humble uh or yeah um humblebee and then also uh bumblo it's the fire name bumblo have a split evolution you know I, that'd be kind of cool that'd be kind of cool in my opinion but i can see this being like you know the bee the queen bee just like cone bee vespa queen I see, I see the parallel. Then we have our regional rodent being uh, Quixen, uh, Quixen, and it looks like every starter rodent. Then we have ourselves Venopine, and he looks tough. Definitely a Pokemon that goes with the evil team. Very, very, uh, I guess you could say common that you would see the type of Pokemon. I like the design, Mohawk. I think this Pokemon would work really well in the Galar region. 
Um, especially more than Wulu does. I think Wulu will work better over here. And then if you put this Pokemon in Sword and Shield, it'd be fire. This is a great Pokemon right here for all the trainers in Spike Month and, and as well as just Team Flare as a whole. Not Team Flare. I'm tripping. Team Yale. My bad. And then next up, we have the regional flying type being Quell Leaf, which is, this is unique. This is, this is one of the primary elements like Talonflame that's mixed in with the flying type, right? So it's going to be a grass and flying. It's cute, it's adorable, it's more of a uh, quail Pokemon as it evolves into a pheasant with pheasantry. Love the name, like the play on words, great, amazing, love it. The next up, you got yourselves Condobor, um, and Condobor looks looks different. I wasn't expecting this to go to this. Um, I was, for some reason in my head, I was picturing on pheasant as a grass type, but this is still really, really dope because it kind of mixes in like Braviary, um, and, and like unpheasant in a way, it's, it's a weird combination, but overall I see the design perspective behind it. This is, this is, this is cute. This is adorable. Frosky, great, fantastic. Top 10 designs in all of Norclo. Fantastic. When it evolves into Siberianine, top five designs. This is fire. This is fire. The tail is like whipped cream. It's an ice type. It's an ice and normal type. This is fire. This is fire. This is fire. This is fire. Um, even though it's an ice type, it's fire. It's ice burn. It's great. I love it. Moving on, we have Dumbursa. That name is heat. This name is heat, bro. I'm, I'm getting hyped, right? This is, this is, this whole line, these two lines are fire because it evolves into Umbursa. Look at this thing. I kind of get this um, kind of Ursaring vibe, but just more menacing. This is fantastic. I could see the lore being that Umbursa and Ursaring have beef. If they ever make contact with each other, there is instant fighting until one falls. And that can go on for days. That is that is amazing. Umbursa, yo, you going on a team. Where you at? Siberian 9? You going on a team. This team, yo, it is fire. Fire, fire designs. I love these Pokemon. Next up, we have Kinetric. Uh, regional electric type it kind of looks like Rotom um, mixed in with Rotom um, it looks like Rotom it really runs through Rotom but I like the design it looks really dope but the evolution the evolution is what catches me because it looks like Gengar it's like an electric Gengar this is actually gonna be Volnetic fire this is fire this is great because I don't know the typing on this I think it's pure electric but I think honestly it'd be really cool if you did electric ghost top tier i don't remember the typing so if you remember the typing in the comments or hoops if you're watching this or anyone on the team drop it in the comments this is fire electric this is fire i love it this is a dope pokemon i, I like it so much next up we have snebble our regional rock uh three stage i'm guessing um looks really cool it's it's really simple design nothing too complicated as it evolves into uh bulboa which is a great play on words the design is so so for me. I understand it's like that cocoon state, kind of like that graveler state, um, boldor state. It's definitely very awkward. I will say that it's a very awkward stage, and then it evolves into serpent. It is it's serpent is fire. My bad, not serpent. Serpent. This is fire. This is dope. It's a it's a rock ground snake. I mean, I mean, you have onyx, but onyx is trash. Onyx is trash. This is a beast. This is beast. The color palettes, the, 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 the jawline with the, yeah, yeah, that's fire, that's fire, that's fire. Then we have Orqua, which is super cute, adorable little Orca Pokemon. You gotta love it, super cute. Then it evolves into Orcanaut, and Orcanaut is also really cool too. I like the design, I love the shading, I like the little, uh, like the watery designs on it. Oh yeah, that's dope, that's dope. It has like a submarine type tail, I like that, I like that, it looks really cool, man. Next up we have Armatair, Armatair. Um... It's a steel type. It's okay. It's okay. I don't vibe with it too, too much, but it's a really cool Pokemon. I like steel types. Um, yeah, it evolved into Almatile. Al Almatile. Hopefully, I said that right. My bad if I said it wrong. Um, kind of reminds me of like Tortuga, um, Grottle again, like the whole Torterra line. It really, remind yeah, it really reminds me of that. Like Dreadnought. Reminds me of Dreadnought. This right here is going to be Tormentent. Love the name. Really dope. Tormentent. I like it a lot. This looks cool. Another Pokemon I could easily see rocking with uh, Team Yell. Mohawk. Just It would just work well. It would just work well. Next up we have... Ooh, yeah. I saw this right here in the videos. This is uh, Maple Leaf. And Maple Leaf is, is, is amazing. I'm pretty sure this one's a Bug and Grass type, which is which is great. great good typing. We don't have enough Bug and Grass type Pokemon. And it's and it's, it's the Canada Leaf. It's the Canada Leaf. You can't you can't beat that. All right, it's fire. And then it evolves into this name is great. Resemdra. F 
fire name, fire name. Listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. This is dope. I'm pretty sure this is Bug Dragon or Grass Dragon. It's one of the two. I don't 100% remember. I love this design. The mix with the yellows and the greens and the reds and the maple leaf. The maple leaf. It's a maple leaf Pokemon. Like, it, it don't get more Canadian than this. It's perfect. Next up, we have uh, Petrosect. Adorable. I like it. Cute little bug. But I don't like bugs uh, a lot. But it's a cute bug. It evolves into uh, Petrif Petrificy. My bad if I said it wrong. I, my bad. My bad. It's cool. Very different though, but it's it's cool. It's cool. Next up, we have ourselves uh, Kindlescent. Kindlescent. My bad. Kindlescent. Um, cool. It's a fire bird or a fire something. It's it's cool. I like it as it evolves into Flamero. Fire name. <laughs> fire Pokemon. Um, it is it's cool. I like it a lot. Um. If I'm being honest, though, oh, that's heat. Oh, that's heat. I was worried about how the final evolution was going to look because I didn't expect it to look like this because of this. Because this looks really like straight up a bird, like almost reminding me of, uh, of Fletchender. Um, but then you get this right here, and this is a whole different breed. This is dope. This is, this is, yeah, yeah, this is cool. This is cool. Then we get uh, flu Fluvev, flu Fluvev, flu Fluvev. It's hair, I think. Is that hair and a mustache? Oh no, 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 no. Kuflu? That's that's a weird mod. That's a, that's a weird mod. Reminds me of Nose Pass. Then we have ourselves Snowball. Okay, cute little little Snowball Pokemon. As it evolves into Wintrot. Reminds me of Furret. Reminds me of Furret. Um, that's cool. And I think that evolves into Stow Trees. Now that's dope. Now that right there is dope. Gives off like that obstagoony vibe. That's cool. And it has it has Oh, I thought I was like little versions of it on its tail. Never mind. It's cool. It's just snow. It's dope. I like it a lot. I can see that being ice and poison type. I, I don't know if I'm correct in that typing, but I can see it being ice and poison. Then we have Scar Scar Scaraboo. Scaraboo. Yes, it's cute. Um, I'm guessing it's based off of like caribou. Um that's that's adorable. That's adorable. The next one we have Hooksy. It's a little witchy witch. Ghosty ghoul. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, then we have Snowbow. Yeah. I kind of like it because of the, the scarf. The scarf's dope. As it evolves into uh, Vagalanche, this design is very awkward. <laughs> if I'm being honest. It's, it's kind of awkward, but it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Um, very awkward mod. I can see the thing being tanky though. That thing right there could be tanky. Then we have a sub, uh, pump, uh, pup puff, pup puff, pup puff, or pup off. Like it's a puppy. It is puffing. Pup puff. Or pup off. I, there's so many ways to say it. It's adorable. It's cute. It's doing this. I couldn't be happier. All right. Then we got ourselves. A, oh, willow, wolo, 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 wolo. I'm pretty sure it's wolo. I like the extra features. It, it doesn't make a huge change. It gets a little bit bigger. The tail gets longer, and then you see that it's blowing the air out, which makes a more of a dramatic chance. So I'm guessing if I'm correct during that series, you said this thing can't touch the ground. I love that. That's cool. It makes it really different. Give it the ability to levitate. Um, but yeah, yeah, I, I, I like the design. The, the, the design looks good. I, I can't complain. It looks really good. Wolo, Wulu, wo no, not Wulu. It's, it's Wolo, right? Wolo? Yeah, it's Wolo. Then next up we have Wolvoid. This is this is great. On the team. You on the team? On the team. This is fantastic. This thing right here almost looks like it could be a legendary. This this is this is tough. This is tough. I like this one a lot. Now it's time for the fossils. And we have uh Grenine here. And Grenine looks, it looks adorable, Sabertooth type Pokemon, you know, fan favorite, Sabertooths are dope, you guys watched Ice Age, you know, you know, you know what I'm talking about, as it evolves into fan gray fire, this is fire, this is great, fantastic, I'm getting this fossil right here, I'm getting, I'm getting you, right here, you're my fossil, I restored you, I'm getting fan gray, the other fossil right here is going to be Scythosaur, um, it looks cool, reminds me of Tyran, uh, Tyrant and Tyrantrum, Definitely gives me those vibes, but it seems like it's a different typing, either dark or poison. Uh, as it evolves into Mo 
Mo Mortosaur? Motosaur? This looks dope. Very ghosty now, but I'm pretty sure it's poison type. It, it really reminds me of Tyrantrum with no arms. It's like just running around like this, like this right here, you know? I, I like it. It's cool. It's cool. I like it a lot. Then we get ourselves Young Ghoul. I love it. It's legit a Young Ghoul. It's cool. Uh, as it evolves into Langle, this thing just made me laugh. I think of like a ghosty Lickitung. This is like legit the opposite of Lickitung. It's exactly that. What is it? I don't know what kind of Pokemon this is. This one's going to be Spor Sporto? Sporto? Spirit? Spirit? Type Pokemon? I like it! It, it looks good. Um, looks super tanky if you were to use it like in a game or a playthrough or something, but I, I don't know exactly what this is based off of, but I like the design. I think the design is great. Uh, then we have a tree trup, which is uh, reminding me of, 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 what's that Pokemon called? Fantub. Fantub right there. It's what it reminds me of, it reminds me of Fantub uh, as it doesn't have an evolution. What? Yo, I thought this would have an evolution. Um, then we get ourselves our regional, you know, Pikachu clone, which is going to be Borbazoo. Borbazoo? Borbazoo looks cute. Looks adorable. It's a little otter, right? Right? Is that an otter? Then we get ourselves, ooh, Bubblies. Bubblies looks looks cool. I like Bubblies. Reminds me of cast form. And then we also get Flourish, which is a rose that flourish. And it's a fish. These names are great. These names are fantastic. As it evolves into Rosnish, which actually I like this design too. It reminds me of a Pokeball. Reminds me of a Pokeball. I like this. This is cool. I've been struggling to find my kind of regional Pokeball type Pokemon, so this is really cool. I like the fish design. And then we have Emelo, the roasted form. Ooh, a Pokemon with form changes. Okay, 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 okay. So this is going to be Emelo, the roasted form, which of course is a marshmallow Pokemon. I haven't had a marshmallow in a long time. And you looking delicious as the other form, I'm guessing, is going to be just Emelo, the regular form. So I can see this being a ghost or a dark type and this one being a fairy type fantastic love the design love the aesthetic names are great and then it looks like oh it evolves it evolves into jelly jellico jacolo jacolo hopefully i'm saying these right jello type pokemon from a marshmallow mesh you know marshmallow jello yeah this is he i can see officer i mean not officer uh, 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 uh nurse joy nurse joy right here this is nurse joy's pokemon right there and it, whoa, okay. So Roasted Form got this right here. This is Mullawide, this is fire. This is dope, he's wearing like a tux. He looks menacing. I love the Roasted design. Roasted design for the win. This is a dub right here. Roasted Form with Mullawide. This is the one right here. This is dope, I like this one a lot. Next up we have, ooh, okay. So this is Karateon. Amazing design by the way. Um, this is fantastic. This is, this is something that I want to make my own evolution. I was actually going for fighting type myself. Fantastic. This is great. I love this design. Why didn't Sword and Shield give us any new evolutions? Why didn't we get any new evolutions? Gen 2, we got two forms. Gen uh, 4, we got two more forms. And then Gen 6, we got Sylveon. We got to Gen 8 and got nothing. You could have done Steel with Dragon. You could have done you could have done Steel and Fighting. But you just oh come on. This is dope. I love this design. It's fantastic. This right here, I'm guessing we're stepping into the regional forms now. And this is gonna be Tenduckle, which I'm pretty sure is gonna be the evolution of Shuckle. Which is a Pokemon that doesn't get a lot of love. So this is really cool to see. It looks very menacing and also something that would be a tank. We also get an evolution for Dunsparce being a Sinosparce being a, I guess, normal ground type. Really cool concept. Again, I've seen so many fan arts for a Dragon uh, Dunsparce evolution. I've seen Fairy. I've seen Ground. I've seen Flying. There's been so many different things you can do. But this is a really unique uh, change with it being ground. So I like that a lot. It looks like, ooh, Cinchella, which is going to be, a, I think, a Chimeco, a Cinchino, Cinchino, not Chimeco, Cinchino type evolution, that Psychic, this is dope, I love it, it looks fantastic. We have Heliowest, who turns into Heliobine, I'm pretty sure this one was by Firestone, fantastic, fantastic. I, I You know what, why didn't Heliowest have fire typing? 
It's just a missed opportunity. Fire Electric. That's such a good typing to go with. It, yo, that thing would be crazy strong, but it would also have hella weaknesses, so it kind of balances itself out. Come on, you just, it's, it's, yo, it's, it's too great. It looks like we get to see Gremlin, which reminds me of Impidimp. This reminds me of Impidimp, and I like it a lot. What's his evolution look like? Oh, he looks kind of upset. He's, he's had a bad day. This is, uh, Grimad, Grimad, and he, he looks like he's, he's had a rough day. Then we get ourselves a teeny, which looks like an alien. This looks reminds me of Belgium uh, and Elijum. Ellie, Hopefully, I'm saying those names right too. It's 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 cute and unique. It's more unique than cute. I would say it's very different. And it, yeah, it's more of that alien by this one being Seri Brufo. Seri Brufo, very unique name. Uh, you know, I guess like the cerebral. Um, you know, it, it, it's very different. It, again, it reminds me a lot of Elijum and and. and uh, Hegem, whatever that Pokemon's called that no one ever uses, reminds of that Pokemon a crap ton. And we have uh, Gramgon, which I'm pretty sure is the female alternative to Drampa. This is what I say personally. This is what I say personally. Dunsparce is the pre-evolution. Drampa for male, Gramgon for female. Let me know if I'm tripping in the comments. Let me know. Let me know. Timestamp it. And let me know if you think that would work. Dunsparce evolves into Drampa. And if not Drampa, if it's a female, Gramgon, that's, that's it. Case closed. Uh, ooh, yes. This is the, the regional pseudo. Uh, Raikonoid? Raikonoid? Raikonid? Whatever it's called, it's fire. It's like a samurai. I love it as it evolves into Kakundra. Fire name. Kakundra. That's dope. That's dope. Great. This is dope, and it evolves into, uh, God, the name, uh, Dr Dr Dramurugan? Dramurugan? Ugh, my bad, bro. I'm so sorry. Uh, this is great. I love the pseudo. It kind of reminds me of a mix of, like, a Haxorus and, um, almost, not a Dragonite, but another, another, uh, like a Crocodile. There you go. Like a, like a Haxorus and a Crocodile blended up and made this fire Pokemon. Um, yeah, this one here is uh, Drem Dremorgon. Dremorgon. Hopefully, I'm saying these names right. I do apologize. You guys know I said the names wrong. Like it is what it is. But this um, this design is amazing. Then we get Grember, which is a little little bush with a fire on it. Like don't burn yourself. As it evolves into Grolor, which is different. It, it's I don't I don't know. It's very awkward stage. So you know it's getting another evolution. If it's not, then that's really weird. This is cool though. I like this a lot. And, oh, yeah, yeah, you fire, you fire. Grimferno, yeah, you fire, you fire, you fire, you fire. This is what Typhlosion could have been. I don't think Typhlosion is a bad design, but this is dope. This is uh, this is really good, actually. I like this design a lot. Then we come across, I believe, are the legendary Pokemon here in this section. We have uh, Brenum, we have uh, Primary, and uh, Finrit. And these are kind of like your, your Yuxi... Uh, you know that lake trio line right here. So like, you know fairy I said this actually I can see all three of them being fairy uh, maybe pure fairy fairy I, I don't know and the fairy dark. I don't I don't know these are really cool though I like all the designs and then of course we have the legendary of the region Cardivios, which is a really cool Pokemon kind of gives me the vibes of uh uh, of your Veltal for sure and uh, you know kind of representing that Canada based region and then we have another one being Morvorder, and Morvorder looks dope. This is a dark and fairy type. This is fantastic. This right here is, yo. You know, honestly, too, if you didn't make it a legendary, this would have been a dope Pokemon to be something like your, um, you know, your, your Lucario or or, or uh, Zero Aura or Zero Rourke, uh, you know, type Pokemon. This would have been a dope one, but this is a whole legendary. This is amazing, but um, it's not over yet. It's not over yet as we have some brand new, more regional forms starting with the Johto line because these Pokemon don't get enough love, all right? So in this version, we have the Tundra forms of Chikorita, Totodile, and Cyndaquil, which all gonna have based off of ice type. So we have ice and grass, which is looking like a weepy piece of grass. It looks great, and I hate Chikorita. I, like Chico and I don't hate Chikorita. I think Chikorita is like the lowest on all my starter lines. Like I, I 
I will possibly never use it ever, but it, it's this looks dope. I may even consider it with this as it turns into Tundra Form Bayleaf and is looking better um, in my opinion. And Meganium's where it's at. Meganium looks top tier. This is a 10 out of 10. Knock it out the park. Fantastic design. I like this one a lot. Now for you Cyndaquil fans, you know what it is, a pure ice type. This thing looks adorable. I mean, how can you not like Cyndaquil? Cyndaquil is my definitive Johto starter. Fantastic. I love the design. And after that, we get ourselves Quilava, which looks dope. Quilava's always had a fire design. It's always had a great design. And this just kind of pushes that design even further with the ice replacing the fire. And he's still, he's still, yo, he's still rocking it. It looks dope. As it evolves into type flows, you're becoming an ice and steel type. Amazing. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Knocked it out the park fantastic i love it as we get totodile which is another you know fan favorite for sure i don't like totodile all that much but another fan favorite totodile looking beefy it kind of reminds me of gibble right here as it evolves into crocodile that thing looking dope i like the little the additional detail inside the ice in his body and his head fan freaking tastic and it evolves one more time into feraligator and it looks it looks like it's a beefy boy it looks like it's a beefy one not only that, but we have Trap Pitch getting some love, and it looks incredible. It looks incredible. Trap Pitch looks like it's wearing a little snowsuit, as it turns into v uh, Vibrava, which is actually one of my favorite Pokemon. Um, this thing was adorable. Definitely playing into the bug motif. Thank you, Hoops, for playing into the bug motif of this Pokemon. As we get ourselves Flygon, 10 out of 10. 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 This is amazing. Knocks it out of the park. Another banger. We have ourselves the Tundra form of Beedoo, which looks absolutely incredible. It's a little snowflake. It's a snowflake plant. You can't be upset with that as it evolves into Roselia. So this is another fire design, but this is actually the interesting part of the video because this is actually the end. Now, what I want you guys to do is, for one, leave a like on the video. These designs are absolutely amazing. I have to give it out to Hoops and Hip Hop. These designs are absolutely fantastic. Shout out to Oscar Belmonte, Dark and Wendy, and everyone else who did any kind of art for this entire series. It's fantastic. But I didn't show off everything in this video. You guys have missed out on the Mega Evolutions, not to mention brand new forms that I didn't show off in this video, but I want you guys to check them out for yourselves over on Hoops and Hip Hop's channel. I want you guys to hop on over and watch his entire series, Pokemon Cardinal. It's absolutely fantastic go check it out for yourself see these pokemon hear the voice acting get immersed into the norclo region i'll have a link again in the description for you guys to check it out and like again hoops and hip-hop thank you for letting me do this man I, I love showcasing regions and yours was nothing less than absolutely amazing um I, I can't wait to show off my own region very very soon you guys will see the fun evolutions for my stars pretty quickly probably like a week or two after this video's release so make sure you guys do check that out Man, with that being said, if you guys enjoyed the content, don't forget to leave a like on the video. Please leave a like, man. All of you guys watching this content and you don't leave a like, come on, leave a like for your boy. Hit the subscribe button so you guys can see more of this stuff. Let me know what other regions I should check out. Let me know in the comments down below. I'll see all of you guys in the next one, man. Thank all of you guys for watching and bye.